Welcome to A Reason to Talk. I'm back with another fucking customer service story, experiences, whatever the fuck we're calling this. And I'm just saying, but common sense does not exist any fucking more. Before we get into today's episode, let's talk about my book, Nostalgic Memories, A Book of Dreams and Nightmares as Poems, available now on Amazon. Get the Kindle version for ninety nine. I believe the Kindle Unlimited version comes with it, or the paperback copy for fourteen ninety nine. Uh, autographed versions will be available on eBay at ebay.com slash str slash Chris Reason Network. Twenty four ninety nine plus shipping and handling. Dark poetry, down to earth, realistic, out of my mind. Nostalgic memories, a book of dreams and nightmares as poems. So we're going to start off. Common sense, common knowledge. You don't have common sense without common knowledge, but common knowledge doesn't exist either with a lot of these fucking morons. Customer comes up to the register. Total comes up to $5.30. And instead of handing me, the, the person, the customer, instead of handing me the two $5 bills that are in his fucking hand... Turns around and goes, hey, do you have 30 cents? Fucking just hand me the fucking dollar bill or the five dollar bills. Give me the two, give me the ten dollars and take your damn four dollars and seventy cents. Like, take the fucking change. You're holding up the line asking random ass people behind you if you have change. Fucking fuck it. Just give me the five and get the fuck out of here. Like, holy fuck. So, another way of common knowledge, common sense, uh, the pumps went down. And was putting out of service bags on the nozzles of the pumps. This guy literally pulls up to the pump I am at while putting the bag on there and looks directly at me, goes inside the store and asks for $30 on that fucking same pump. Fucker, I know you looked right at me and saw me put those out of service bags on that fucking pump. Like, now you're just fucking stupid. You fucking saw me do this shit. There's a guy. That comes into my store. I haven't seen him in a while, surprisingly. Um, Me and one of the other workers uh, have nicknamed him the fucking Tenactin guy. If you if you don't know what Tenactin is, it is uh like a powder thing to use for athlete's foot, fucking swamp ass, whatever. We're a fucking gas station. The guy fucking comes in and asks me if we have Tenactin, dude. I don't know. We probably don't, but if we do, it's in the medicine section by the other stuff. The where? The medicine section. Where? The medicine section. Go look. It's a small store. I'm not telling you to go 30,000 feet in the opposite direction. But anyways, this guy comes in. It's an acting guy. And asks, goes and gets the newspaper and asks me if the paper had the obituary. I'm assuming so. How the fuck am I supposed to know? I'm not the publisher, the editor of the fucking newspaper. So I literally told him, I, and I said, I don't know. I don't write the paper. Then said it, and then he goes, it should be in here. And I'm like, like I said, I don't know. I didn't write the damn newspaper. He then asked me, right words, if we sold brake oil. First of all, is that some shit kind of like fucking blinker fluid? Like the fake brake oil? Like that sounds like, that sounds fake. I said, if we do, it'd be in the auto section. And he pulled the same shit. Where? In the auto section. Where? The section you're fucking standing in. You stupid piece of shit. Mind you, this guy looks like he has a fucking beer gut. God knows what. And his body is so disproportional. It looks like a fucking letter B that's on a uh, lowercase. It's like, what the fuck? I've realized how so many people don't have patience or anything like that. So a machine, the ice machine I have at my store, was making a wiring sound. It it was fine. It just, whatever, I turned it off for a little bit, turned back on, and went away. But I didn't do it for at first. Everybody and their mother was just like, oh, that must be annoying at the work with all day. No, the most annoying part is you fuckers bringing it up. Like, I don't think, I've heard worse. Like, when you guys fucking telling me your damn stories. Like, I don't, we're, we're not fucking therapists. We're not bartenders. Leave your shit at home. I don't give a fuck if you can't figure out your phone. I don't know what the fuck if your phone got hacked. Don't call me. 
Because I can guarantee you you're on some bullshit. And then a customer walked into the store looking at a merchandise, comes up to the red shirt and asks, how much our drinks are? What what drinks? Slurpees. Slushies. Fountain drinks. Bottled soda. Coffee. What? Everything has a price on it. You can't just say how much drinks are. There's drinks all over the fucking store. Do you want a bottled soda? Do you want a fountain soda? Do you want a two liter bottle of soda? Do you want a gallon of milk? Half gallon of milk? A pint of milk? A single serve milk? What? I'm not going to know that everything's $7,000. What kind of fucking question is that? And if you go by each one of the things, there's signs that tell you right in front of your fucking face. So I literally replied with, so I said, not sure which ones you were talking about, but there are signs next to them. She then asked if I have an iPhone charger she can use. And I said, no. Then asked if we have Wi-Fi. I'm like, we are a gas station. No, we do not have Wi-Fi. She went to the bathroom, and when she left, I walked over to that area where she was standing the whole time. She fucking grabbed a wall plug from the case, opened an iPhone charger, and started charging her phone on the wall. If I'm not mistaken, that's pretty much stealing when it comes to opening a fucking cable just to fucking charge your damn fucking stupid phone. Fucking now that I can't sell that shit with it open out of the box. The box you had was ripped and shit. I can sell the fucking wall plug because that wasn't even in a box, but still. That just wasted fucking money. It just makes sense. Like, how do you go from, how much are the drinks? What drinks? I don't even sell beer, but you talking about beer? You talking about the 24 packs of water? 12 packs of soda? It, it, you're just fucking stupid when you say overall fucking question like that. I had a guy ask for two Camel Blue Kings. So that's a short box, or short packs. So I grabbed those. And he goes, what about those ones that say 25 cents off? And I said, you mean the ones that say 50 cents off and that are for Camel Gold? Completely different cigarette. His response, no, those are clearly gold because it says, uh, oh, my response was, those are clearly gold because it says gold on it. Not just by the color, but it literally says the word gold. And he just goes, oh, okay. Like, what the, you fucking morons. I get people in because our, people need quarters for the air machine all the time. Customer needs quarters for the air pump. Hands me a dollar. I told him customer. I told the customer that it cost two dollars. His response was, "I didn't put any air in the tire." No, no, I didn't ask you that. I said, "Do you need more quarters than a dollar?" You only handed me a dollar. It's two dollars. He goes, "It, it costs two dollars." Yes, that's why I'm asking if you want another fucking dollar and quarters. Why else would I ask you? Hey, do you need two dollars and not one dollar? Because it's not going to start if you just have one dollar. It's like what the fuck. Lady comes in on the phone. Hands me a stack of lottery tickets, the scratch-offs. They are not scratched enough to show the barcode that's on the front that I need to cash them, and only three... And so what I did was, I fucking while she's on the phone, I fucking just said, fuck it, I'll scratch them off, she's a dumb bitch, whatever. Out of that whole fucking stack, when there's a machine that tells you if they're winners or not, there's only three winners. I'm like, I just wasted so much fucking time. And the whole time she was on the damn phone, she was talking to some random person about, like, a guy she would date, but she won't date him because he's a, a drunk or drinks or something, and that his fucking name is Round. What fucking kind of name of a person is Round? I don't even know if that's a... If that is a nickname, you are a fucking fail of a person. What the fucking name is Round? Like, how the fuck... Are you just looking at a body and be like, yep, your name's Round now? You're Round. So your name is Round. What the fuck? You guys are fucking stupid. Round? What kind of fucking name is that? Just like, what the fuck? I asked the customer if he had a rewards card. He goes, yes, but I don't want to use it. What's the fucking point of having a rewards card if you're not going to fucking use it? That's just... Why? That's like people that have wallets and then fold up money into their pocket. What's the point of having a wallet besides putting your cards in there and having a huge ass slot for fucking money and crumble it in your pocket? Does not make any fucking sense. Thank you guys for listening to today's episode of Reason Talk with Chris Reason. 
I want you guys that anybody listens send in your picks or whatever. T- tweet me at the Chris Reason. All your customer service stories. Check me out at Chris Reason Network. I believe that's what it is on TikTok. Check out uh, YouTube, Chris Reason Network. Check out Instagram, The Chris Reason. Check out all the shit. Hit that follow button on Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you're listening to. And please stay tuned for more hilarious fucking shit. Peace and fucking bacon grease, everybody.